Hello, Counter here. Welcome back to another video. The update has finally dropped. I am in the test server right now, but for seeing this, the video is already dropped. So let's see what is new in this update. So the map looks incredible. Darius did an insane job. As you can see, it has that kind of Floria map type of vibe. And we have a lot of things right here. So let's go all of them and where they are. So first of all, these are the leaderboards. They look really clean. This is the training ground that I will explain in the video. And then when we go over here, we have the bounty board and also where we spin. This looks incredible. It looks so good with max graphics. Like you cannot even tell this is UTD. Like it just looks insane. So here is the dungeon, it looks incredible once again. Here's the coming soon sign, so this is where the new game mode is probably going to be located in, in part 2. Dungeon is over here, um, it is inside, it looks like the same old dungeon. It looks absolutely majestic. Over here is the battle mode where it got a big change on like how it looks. Because the highest elo now shows over here. Which makes sense to show over here. And then over here it will be showing the top 3 in the leaderboard avatars. Middle being the first one and then it's second and third. It looks once again insane. And then once we go over here we can see teleport to lookout. So once we arrive over here in the lookout we have the time chamber where we earn gold it looks very very good um to go down i think right now the only way is to go like like this <laughs> then we have the blacksmithing port which i will show like in minutes from now and here we have alchemy which is coming soon once again and then we have the play area which is the most important area we have another coming soon sign which is a new game mode which um, i do not know what it is but it is coming in part two and then over here in the seas it looks incredible once again so now talking about the map we have as well as the ui the UI also is insane. It looks completely different. So in here we have all of the units. Um, this unit being like the best, 100%. And then the crates. So now once we do equip a unit, the equip button is here. Sacrifice is here. Reroll is here. Cell is here. And no, not the guy from Dragon Ball. And favorites. And then in here we have the description of what a unit's ability does. So for example, Homero is time freeze. Even though there is in the description on the test server, there will be in the real game. The UI also will tell you the upgrades. For example, you can see the damage, cooldown, range, cost, hits, placement, and the average DPS. So you have upgrade 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and if it has more it will display more now you don't have to go in a game just to test out the damage you can generally just see it over here which is an insane cool feature i really like this feature all right so now for the ultimate if you haven't seen my avatar you can see that i have this guy on my back which is shanks himself he is called shankya bruv very original by sloth or Darius or whoever named him um he looks absolutely insane um his stats are you know i i'm not gonna show them here because uh it's not the finalized stats but they do look good i've seen them uh, he is an ultimate going to be obtainable from banner and i mean get him if you want and maybe he gets an evo in the next update i do not know now we have training ground train your towers to gain levels training ground is a very cool feature it isn't broken but it is still incredibly sick so in here you you cannot talk to this guy but the training dummy is over here basically every shiny unit you have you can train it for levels and it will give you xp over time as you afk in the lobby 
it will cost you 100k gold which is really easy and the amount of xp you get isn't finalized so i do not know how much you get per second but it is insanely a good feature to just afk the game and maybe it is worth it depending on how much xp it will get so now moving into artifacts this is going to be an insane change of the game and i will explain you how it works and here is the blacksmithing area you have the blacksmith over here so in here we have new artifacts as well which are going to be coming uh, cursed hammer slaughter team and these are new and it's going to and there's going to be way more coming in the future so how it works so the way it works is for example if i want to get this cursed hammer i would need like 10 black slime and 50 rubies and then i can craft it the higher the stars the harder it is going to be craft but every star in here is one perk one perk also will give you one damage buff or one buff in general it doesn't matter if it's a damage one it's just going to be giving you a buff so in here denji's chainsaw is the best as of right now so it has five stars these five stars are five buffs inside the denji artifact once you get all the materials you will also need a blueprint to even start getting this guy uh the blueprint are is going to be a random drop map i do not know which map because it still hasn't been finalized yet and after you get the blueprint and the mats which you will be getting from dungeons you can craft this every craft will give you more xp and in here you have the blacksmithing level so the higher the level the more percentage luck is going to be giving you so once you craft this you have these chances of getting the best version of your artifact so for example you can get a junk denji chainsaw a regular denji chainsaw a fine one a superior one flawless masterwork and perfect perfect giving you the best perks available as of right now one being worse and worse so basically you can craft a lot of artifacts until you get a perfect point one and then you will also get xp in the way so you can get more luck both told me that uh, the materials are going to be same as evo mats as i said and you need to obtain blueprints from any map drop and this is the most important one is inherited damage which is basically how much the base damage is but it adds so 30 percent inherited damage would add 30 percent of the base damage this is insane for like high dps units and then before any multipliers from prestige shiny rarity or buffs so this will be absolutely crazy so the better the chainsaw the more inherited damage you get which is just a damage buff without perks itself and now for the code it is going to be called new lobby um i don't know what it will give you but this is going to be the code so definitely do not forget to use it and why not just get free rewards as this was the update i maybe missed something because as i stated i'm in the test server so if i missed something i definitely didn't miss it in my live in the comments what do you think of the update keep in mind this is part one of the update so part two will be releasing maybe like in very soon time maybe one two weeks max because next update is going generally to be insane this update is just a warm-up as i call it and then the other update we are going to get game modes i mean we can already see here and then over there we had like coming soon signs maybe meaning that we will have so much stuff alchemy over here so i'm definitely hyped once again tell me in the comments don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one